Well, we're, basically today we got the call. It was about 16, 34 hours, and we're, we're really concerned about it. A yeah, small child was taken, a two-year-old, and I'll get into that information um, from with a family member. And we're really concerned because of the fact that he has mental health issues, very severe mental health issues, um, drug use, and there's a possibility that he might leave the state. He's not from this area. He's from Portland, Oregon area, and we're concerned he might return there, possibly also go to Seattle. But more than anything, we really just want to get the word out. We're looking for the child, we're looking for the man, and we're still trying to track down vehicle information. But right now, we have a, a description of the vehicle, I mean, excuse me, of the child and, and the, the person of interest at this point. What are the circumstances? The parents home? Do the guy show up? Or? It is a family member, family relation, um, left with the child, and as soon as the parents discovered, they called the police. And there, I believe, was some type of argument that precipitated this, and then he left with the. But as I said earlier, the big concern is that he really does have some severe mental health issues, and we're, we're not real sure what his intention is with the child we're concerned about, about his safety. How come he's not institutionalized? Uh, I'm not sure. What's I don't. I, I can't speak to his prior. I know he does have prior criminal history, and that's also concerning. And I'm sorry, Gretchen, do you have a name on this guy? Yes, and I have that. I can give it, show you a picture, okay. and I give you date of birth and, and a description of the child and everything that they were seen. So it's, it's still really early on, so we don't have a lot of details. You know, like I said, we're really just trying to get the word out that if you see, see this uh, child, this individual, we need to know. So we're going to uh, put it to blind up, too. So. But the details you do have, I mean, the, the parents are at home. Uh, the I understand this is the uncle of the child, or is yes, that it incorrect? is a family relation. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so does the uncle show up uh, uninvited? Uh, the, does or what do you know about that? We don't know. Have a lot of details, and I know he uh, he hadn't seen the family in some time and returned um, short stay type thing. So, and what time of day was this, Congressman? It was about sixteen thirty-four hours when we initially got the call from the parents. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is he, was he on drugs today? We don't know. He, do, he does have a history of drug use, so. Some of a PCP? I honestly don't know. I, I really couldn't speak to that. But I know there has been usage in the past, and that's part of the concern also. So there's a possibility right now that this guy and this child are, are driving around somewhere. Yes. Headed to Portland, headed to Seattle, who knows? Mm -hmm. And that's why we really want to locate them. And obviously, if we can get an actual vehicle, I have a vehicle description, if we're able to get a plate, we'll update at that time, and we definitely will get that out. And you said you had a, a criminal background, and mm -hmm. what, kind of, what kind of crimes are we talking about? You know, I really don't know, I just know that he does have some type of background. Okay, violent crimes or anything? Uh, I haven't, I haven't actually any, checked, okay. yeah. Any yeah, leads? So I'm really limited. Any leads on where he might be headed? No, we really don't. That's why we're really putting this info out, we're, we're kind of in a holding pattern trying to figure out what exactly, like I said, we don't know what he's doing with the child, where he's headed with the child. Is the lack of a plate why you haven't done an Amber Alert yet? That would be correct, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and keep in mind too that Amber Alert is obviously, it's, it's not mandatory, we'd love to, we want to do one, but at this point we need to get vehicle, if we have a plate we can put that in, then it, Obviously, it's really effective on the roadway if you have a plate. If you just, we'd hate to put out just a general vehicle description on an Amber Alert and have everybody looking for a gray vehicle in Washington. I mean, so the more detailed description we have, the better we will be. The media is a really big help in this because we can get the picture out of the, ma the male, both males, the suspect and the victim. Sir, what's the what's the danger here again? Why, why is it important? He has he has uh, severe mental health issues, um, a criminal background, and also there's concern of drug use. So. Produced today? No, not necessarily today. He's just had it in the past, but I, I guess I can't stress enough that men, the mental health issues are our biggest concern right now. We're, we're not sure what his intention is. And there's some conf uh, conflicting information about the age of the child. Is it a two or three year old? Just a two year old male. It's a 25 year old. Uh, I, he was born in 1984. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Why don't you go ahead and tell us the uh, guy's name so we have the right pronunciation? Okay. And I can give you, um, I have a picture of him. So afterwards, um, and for this point, it's Omar DeGru. Is he who were DeGru or DeGree? DeGru is DeGru. DeGru. I thought he said DeGree back there. DeGru. Whoever talked on the phone said DeGroy. Well, so. if you want, let me double check. I don't want to say it wrong. I can double check about the information. Can you spell it? Uh, yes, it's spelled D E G R U Y. DeGru. DeGru. Yes, see, that's my understanding. Okay. Make sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. And he's a black male, uh, 116 of 84, a 5'1", and about 161 pounds. 
And do you want a description of what he was wearing? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, a worn brown leather jacket and gray shorts. And as I said, he's from the, originally from the Portland, Oregon area. So, and he actually does have some ta distinguishing uh, marks and tattoos. He has a, um, on his chest, on his upper left chest, he has a tattoo that says De Groove. Uh, on his left inner wrist, he also has a tattoo that says Lefty. And he also has a, uh, one of his uh, teeth is chipped in the upper right, so. And do you have a description of what the child was wearing? Yes, he had on a brown and white shirt, blue jeans, and blue shoes. He's a, a black male in 10-8 of 07 to get you a height and weight on him. What area of Tacoma was the child last seen in? Mm, the 13 under block of East 62nd. So that's that's when the vehicle, the, the witnesses saw him getting into the vehicle with the child and leaving the area. And who are the witnesses, family members or neighbors? Uh, I'm not sure exactly who. I think it was a, a number of different sources or witnesses. Do we know why he took the child? No, that's, again, we're, we're really, it, pre, my understanding is there was some type of family argument that may have precipitated this, but I don't know the details of that. But the concern, again, is just because of the mental health issues that he has. Do you know if he has any weapons on him or anything? That, we don't know. Was he driving his own car? Not clear. That's what we're trying to determine is what the vehicle is, what the plate was on it, so. He's got keys. Pardon me? He's got keys. Yeah, same thing. Uh, I, I don't know how it's related, if it's somebody that he knows or his vehicle, or I'm not sure, so. I don't know what this is. This is your brother? My brother. Uh, talk about his uh, state of mind. Um, you said was drug use? Um, pro um, past drug use. I'm not sure what he's doing now. He has some mental health issues that haven't been addressed, so he doesn't really know what they are. So it's just, it's just any information would be great. I don't know. I have no idea why, where he would go or why he would take us. I'm just, I would love to know that right now. Are they close at all? They, he, he just recently met him for the first time about a month and a half ago. So it's not like they've had a long-term relationship. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Who all was in the house? Um, my fiance, my, my stepdaughter, um, me, and my, my brother. When's the last time you talked to your brother? Um, I was getting I was getting out of the shower. I was talking, talking. He poked, poked his head in. Um, said a few words, next thing I know I go out and I can't find my son. I'm running around the neighborhood in my towel looking for him and the neighbor says that she saw him drive away. I've never known him to own a vehicle so I don't understand where he got a vehicle from. Never seen this vehicle before. I, like I said, I, I just dropped, I just picked him up from the bus station last night so I don't know where a vehicle will come to play. So were you guys arguing about something? Just sibling, just not, nothing major, just sibling disputes. Household stuff. Can you open this? I left my want this. Thank you. What do you want folks out there uh, tonight watching this? What do you want them to know? How can we help? Um, he's an unstable guy, you know. Um, I don't like I say he's he's real he's real clumsy. He's not really he, he has no idea how to take care of a child. So I mean, if you, if you see him, just um, I wouldn't I wouldn't approach him because I mean he's unstable. He's unstable, so. Call the police as soon as you can. Are you worried he's gonna hurt? I'm very worried. I don't know what I don't know what to expect. I, I don't know. From this, I, don't know, I can expect anything from him. I don't, I don't trust. I don't trust that he would. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to think. And you know, Sean, if he's watching this tonight somewhere, what do you want to say? Well, um, why would you do this? Um, why would you do this to me? The only person that's trying to help me. I just don't get it. Sean, just just for me to say your full name again. Just so I shall need the group. And then uh, your son's name? Azil. It's Azil. Yeah. Or Ozzy. He responds to Ozzy. And uh, Omari. Omari. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.